So in the model, you start with a sender who sends a message to the receiver. Now that message goes through a channel. Typically, right now, it's just the air. My voice is causing the air to vibrate and gets to your ears. But in this age of virtual communication, we're now using mediated tools, virtual tools like Zoom, Meet, Teams, to get my information to you. And as soon as you receive that information, you give me feedback. You're very graciously nodding and smiling, <laughs> laughing at my jokes. That's a form of feedback. But the idea is that as a sender, I encode a message that I try to get to you. You then give me feedback. The ultimate goal of this model is fidelity. It's the F word of communication. It's all about accuracy and clarity. So when I encode a message, it's my goal to make sure that you receive that message as accurately and clearly as I can. Now, unfortunately, fidelity has a nemesis, and that nemesis is noise. And noise can be physical noise. We hear birds chirping in the background. It can be psychological noise, my judging, my evaluating, my questioning, or it could be physiological noise. Maybe I'm nervous, I'm hungry, I'm tired, but noise works against fidelity. So to improve communication, you want to not only increase fidelity, but decrease noise.